Hey GearHeads, welcome back. This is Nate from the Tech Support Team and today we're doing part two of our BYOD series. Our first video with the BYOD, we showed you how to network it, get on your local network and cast to a local display. If you haven't seen that video, go. you can check it out on a link above. So for this episode, we're actually gonna be demonstrating how to connect multiple BZB Gear products with the BYOD. And there's a couple of solutions that we came up with that can tailor for your situation or environment. The first solution will be focused on home offices, small conference rooms, and remote learning. And we'll include the BYOD with our EPDZ 4K camera, as well as a desktop wireless speaker phone. So we're gonna show you how to set it all up. So to get things started, let's go ahead and connect our laptop to our BOID unit. In our first video, we actually show connecting the laptop through the Mirrorcast. So we actually did not connect anything through HDMI or anything. We just showed how to connect to the local display. For this example, we're gonna actually use the HDMI input, output, and the USB connections to connect this to the device. One, to connect to the local display with the HDMI out, as well as, making this a host computer to share the USB peripherals that are plugged into the BYOD. So coming out at first, coming out of my laptop, I have HDMI going out, going into the PC1 of the HDMI port on the BYOD. That's how we got the display going. And for us to connect to the peripherals, I have the USB connection coming out of my laptop going into USB host one. So if you're connected in a PC one with the HDMI, you wanna make sure your USB is connected to USB host one for them to align. Um, and then also for our local display, we have HDMI going out to our local display. And to make sure you have the right source selected, just go ahead on the front of the unit to make sure you have the right input selected on the front of the unit for your output display, which for this example is PC1. And now the next step is connecting our 4K EPDZ camera. And this is a really easy setup. As you can see on the back here, it just takes a USB 3.0 cable to get it plugged in. And it's actually powered via USB. And you can just plug it in right into the peripheral port of the BYOD. And since my computer is connected to that unit, it should be able to read it right away. So we're plugging in right now into one of the USB peripherals. And we're gonna set it up right on top of my computer here. And we got our cable here. Plug it right in, USB 3.0. Gotta flip it over. Give it a second to power on. Got a red light right away. And boom, we are connected. So once the camera is connected to our computer, I like to just confirm our connection. So I, what I like to use on Windows is the default camera app. So just go down to the search here and type in camera and then go to the camera application and just gotta make sure you switch to the correct input. You go your change camera, that's the default. And boom, there we are. Now we're using our camera here. As you can see, it's a very wide angle, covers a lot of ground. But if you wanna zoom in, you can easily do that with the remote here, zoom in. And as you can see, you can pan and tilt pretty easily once you're zoomed in, if you're looking for a tighter shot. But if you wanna get something in the background, you can easily do that as well. This offers a 4K image. So a really cool camera to use for you know setups like these. So additionally, if you're a remote educator or a teacher working from home, you can use the wide angle to display any, like if you have a whiteboard, for example, move this chair out of the way. If you have a whiteboard on the wall, you can easily show it. And then if you want to zoom in on the wall, you can easily do that as well. See, so we're zooming in. Pretend there's a whiteboard right here. And you can zoom in and they can see it easily with this crystal clear image. So next up, let's go ahead and add our speakerphone in for this full package. So let's go ahead and power it on pretty easily on the back here, just turn it on. And like I mentioned, it's running off battery power. It's already powered up, it's already got a charge. And additionally, I know we're connecting to it wirelessly to our BOID, but if you have it closer to your unit, or if you want just run cables, you can actually connect to the BOID with a direct USB cable as well. Just for this example, we're actually using the wireless connection for less cables and just a, a cleaner setup. And so since it's on and connected to our BOID, let's confirm our computer that everything's connected correctly. 
So to confirm our audio, I like to go down to our audio icon here, right click it, go to open sound settings, and make sure that our output and input sources are selected correctly. So I'm gonna for output, I'll make sure, there it is, wireless USB audio, that is our speakerphone, as well as we're gonna use this as a microphone as well. So I'm gonna make sure I select that, wireless USB audio microphone because this is gonna be a great setup for video conferencing tools or platforms such as you know, Skype or Zoom or Teams. And so for example, we're actually gonna go ahead and Skype our buddy Joel here in a, in a sec to kind of show you how it all works. So let's go ahead and jump over to Skype. So once we're in Skype, I wanna make sure our video and audio devices are actually selected as our sources. So I'm gonna to go to the top here and go to our settings and go down to audio and video. And it looks like our camera is already selected. This one's called HD camera, our IPDZ camera. There we are, hello. And then as well as our audio, I'm gonna scroll down here and uh, wireless USB audio. That's gonna be our microphone. So Joel can hear me through our speakerphone and we can hear him through our speakerphone as well because they're gonna select our speakers as well as right here, wireless USB audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and Skype Joel here. Hey Joel, how are we doing today? Hey, good, good, yourself? I'm doing good, we're just testing out our BYOD device with our EPDZ camera and our speakerphone and just wanted to check out your new haircut. So you're looking good there, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, does it look good? Yeah. yeah, it looks really good. All right, well, just want to say hi, and I hope you're doing awesome, and uh, thanks for tuning in with us. Have a good one. Cool, yes. You too. Bye. So that was our first solution using the BG EPDZ 4K camera with our desktop wireless speakerphone, all plugged into the BYOD device, and it's really easy to use. And moving on to our second solution, we're actually gonna swap out our EPDZ camera with our BG EPDZ camera and show you how it's used with the BYOD. We're gonna be using the BPDZ XU camera, and this is a great solution for medium to large size conference rooms, healthcare, houses of worship, anywhere where full PDZ functionality is necessary. This camera offers simple, clean connectivity from the back of the camera to PCs at the conference table and perfectly suits the BYOD and a speakerphone. And it's a great camera like our EPDZ camera using video platforms such as Zoom, Skype, or Google Classroom. So now let's get this connected to our BYOD device. So connection is actually pretty simple. One is just plug into one of the USB peripherals on the back of the BYOD, and you can use a USB 2.0 cable. And two, just plug the other end into the back of the camera. And this actually powers up the camera as well. So no additional power is needed. All right, so now that we're connected, I wanna make sure that we have a good connection and that we can read our camera. So go ahead and go ahead and type in camera here, pull up our application and go ahead and select the correct camera. And that's the default and boom, the BG PPTZ, and this is our 3X zoom, but it actually comes in 10X zoom as well. Hello, so now we're connected to our camera. And as you can see, this camera is actually laid out pretty close to me. And then this camera actually comes in a 10x zoom as well. So you actually can set up this camera pretty close, or you can actually set this camera up far away if you needed. And with the remote right here, you can easily pan the whole room. It has a pretty wide angle, so you can cover a lot of ground with this camera. Pan right back. And if you're a little further away, if you want to zoom in, you can easily do that. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a great camera for environments such as medium to large size conference rooms, houses of worship, whatever it may be to cover if there's more people in the room and just cover a lot of ground. So for this camera, now we're gonna actually use Zoom as an example. And first, let's go ahead and open up Zoom and first make sure our video and audio are connected as well. So our video, you can see our video camera is already connected as our main camera. There we go. And our audio source is our speakerphone. Speaker, wireless USB audio, wireless USB audio. So we're connected. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and jump in with Joel here. Hey Joel, are you there? There hey. he is. How you doing? Good to see you again. Hey, good, yes. Good. Your hair, hair still looks good. 
Oh, uh, still okay. Still yeah. short from the last time. Yeah, okay. yeah, from the, from five <laughs> minutes ago. So I appreciate you, Joel. I just want to. We're, now we're just showing off our different camera, our BPDZ camera with our BOE device and our speakerphone. So, nice. uh, cool. All right. Well, thanks again, and uh, we'll talk to you later. All right, guys. See ya. So as you can see, that was our second solution using our BPDZ camera this time with our BYOD device as well as the same desktop wireless speakerphone. And I'll, like I mentioned before, this is a great solution for medium to large size conference rooms or houses of worship. Anywhere you need a little more range of motion with a camera with PTZ functionality to cover more room. And don't forget, we actually talked about the for smaller conference rooms or like home-based setups, there's also the EPDZ camera as well. Well, thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like videos like these to be informed when more videos like these come out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And otherwise, have a great day.